All right, hello, my wild, whimsical, and wonderful YouTube family, and welcome to another, I want to say episode <laughs> or edition, well, another pick a card reading here at Ever Eden Tarot. As always, I'm Eden. So great to have you. Nice to see you here. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, all of the wonderful things that you do to show how much you appreciate these readings, and that encourage me to just keep on going. It's for you guys. You know, the energy that you give me, the likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions, everything like that has really just empowered me and, you know, makes me love to do these readings for you. Um, so here we are today. Today we are channeling um, some information about your connection. So perhaps you have a crush or a specific person um, or somebody that you are into or can't stop thinking about and you want to know what is happening in this connection. This is based on more of the love sphere, guys, um, and definitely more into like that crush relationship atmosphere. Um, so this is pile one, this is pile two, and this is pile three. Um, take it some time, meditate, check out the stones perhaps, and then select the pile that is calling your name. I will meet you at the pile where we will explore what is happening in this connection. We'll also get some channeled messages um, and just tune in to the energy of your specific person and your energy and where this connection is going, where it is at, um, and what is kind of happening in there. I can't wait to explore this. This is a great reading. I already recorded them so much detail, so much information, very insightful. Um, thank you so much for sharing your energy and I will see you at your piles. All right, hello group number one. Thanks for tuning in. I'm hoping that we can get some really clear messages for you here on an update from your person. No contact. This could be, you know, someone you have a crush on that you just currently aren't talking to and you want an energetic update. You want to know what is going on. You want to dive into, you know, their thoughts, what they do want to share, what their higher selves want to share. So if you chose this crystal right here, citrine, and set of cards number one, then this is the reading for you. Let's get started. Okay, so the first card out is the five of pentacles. Let's just get a few out here and then I will go through. Then we have the hierophant. Interesting. And then we have the five of cups. Hmm. Okay, and next we have the Seven of Cups. Lots of water energy here that may mean something. And then we have the Strength card. That's a Leo card as well. All right. What I'm getting here with your person is, you know, is the traditional sense of the Five of Cups, or sorry, the Five of Pentacles, but not in um, the material world. They are feeling a little left out. They may feel actually a lot of pressure to start a family, get married, move forward, and all of these things from either their family or people in their lives who think that they should. Um, and they get a lot of pressure. And then, you know, when we have family gatherings and things like that, they feel a bit left out in the cold because they aren't where they want to be in that sense of, um, of life. But... They also feel a great deal of a bit of like depression over it too. I'm getting a really heavy energy from your person just to let you know. Um, they might feel a little bit of a depression over it as well. Like they've had to walk away from certain things that they thought would work out and thought were long term. And then here with that, this being represented with the seven of cups, I think they're a bit insecure about their choices and their abilities to make decisions and the choices that they have. I'm getting this as a person with a lot of choices. I'm getting that, you know, they might be a catch. You might consider them that, um, they might be very abundant as well. Um, but they don't have the best faith in their choices. They don't have that inner intuition to know, you know, I am making the right decision with such conviction, with such strength, with the strength card here. And that's what they admire about you. You're very um, certain. <laughs> they really admire that about you. They really admire your strength and how certain you are in certain situations where you're just like, no, this is it. This is the direction we're going in. This is what we're doing. This is how my life's going to be. Um, and just your like tenacity and just your drive and how you push through certain situations that, you know, they 
I see them very strong in other aspects of their lives, but when it comes to the cups here, when it comes to the emotions, they're struggling a bit with the emotions. They're struggling a bit with love, for sure. Your person is struggling with love, and that is leading to kind of like a bigger search, a deeper purpose. A, they want a clearer understanding. Um, they may even... I don't know if they're leaning into it yet, but they may lean into spirituality. They may start asking for signs. They may start asking for clarity. They may, you know, um, need to kind of seek guidance from some type of spiritual knowledge that they can lean on in this situation because they're really going through it. That is what I'm getting from this person. It's, it's a really hard time for them to kind of understand what they want, what their picture is, big picture is, and what direction they're going into because of the external pressures that are placed on them. Um, some of them, like, they might be like kind of like they're, they feel like their clock is ticking um, and they've never felt like this before and they've made some other decisions and they thought they'd be at a different place in life, in their love life right now, um, but their material world is doing fine, but they feel left out in that material sense as like the family, you know, the growth, the having someone to come home to, but they just don't trust their instincts. There's a bit of a fear here. Um, they might be very accomplished and be afraid that you're, you, not you directly, but like a partner is going to take something from them. Um, that that might be an underlying fear that they have to ask for strength for, for to get through um, and for wisdom and guidance. They may actually need to like talk to somebody older than them or who's been through the same experiences and stuff like that. But with the ace of swords here at the bottom, I'm getting that they do really think about you a lot. When they think about, you know, their next steps and their choices and how to get clear on their vision, they do think about you and they do want to come forward with communication. Um, but there's, there's still this block you know, there's still something holding them back. And that is just this intuitive sense of knowing and tapping in to that intuition and trusting their gut to make a move forward because they want to. They want to make a move forward. They want to talk to you. They really want to talk to you. They really want, you know, to just like hear you on the phone or text message or any type of thing like that. They really do want to talk to you is what I'm getting here. Okay, let's see what else we have. We have sexuality, yeah. They're very attracted to you. They definitely want you to know that. Um, but also, they may have had a lot of relationships in their lives that were more sexuality-based, more sexual or anything like that. Um, so they honestly are a bit insecure about this in a way too, as in they don't want it to be just that for their next step in life, and they don't know how to not be that. They don't know how to be different from that you know they have a lot of um i'm getting a, a lot of masculine energy here a lot of like this red root chakra like really um in that kind of physical and action oriented person who is struggling to lean into their emotional and int intuitive side of life um so this is what they've done this is what they've always done this is what they understand i'm getting like if they could just touch you if they could just hold you then like maybe they would get the message and maybe they would get the clarity but they're trying not to get too close because they know that this is what they always go to this is their go-to that is how they cope okay yeah, and then with the green here and learning, I'm getting that they're leaning into their heart a bit and their heart chakra or whether they know that or not in those terms. Um, they really want to learn how to create a committed long-term next step type of relationship and they're committed to that in and of themselves. They're trying to make themselves whole. They're trying to make themselves understand their next step and they're trying to learn. They may even be watching like videos, maybe not like this on YouTube or anything like that, um, but they're probably actually seeking some guidance is what I'm getting and they're very open to that. They're very open to guidance. They're very open to learning. All right, and what I'm getting here with the healer is they actually see you as a healing energy. They know that they could go to you and you would take care of it, but they really want to take care of it themselves before they go to you. 
They really want to do the work themselves before they come to you with a communication. And I'm getting a lot of them that have started it. You know, they have, they have started this journey. They're seeking healing. Um, they actually, in a way, know you could help them, but they kind of, I don't know why, they want to do it without you and come to you whole so you can get a fresh start, perhaps, is what I'm getting. Okay. Let's see what else we have here in your reading. We have health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. Okay, for some of them, they may actually have some health issues, which is kind of maybe what scared them into thinking like, holy poop, like what is my next step? What is my next goal? Whereas, you know, my wife, my house, my kids, all of these things like that. Um, but other than that too, it's just about them being very physical, them very, them very much understanding things in the physical realm. You know, if I work out and do this, I'll lose weight. Or if I do this, eat this, I'll gain weight. And just kind of understanding the things that are right in front of them but not the subconscious levels of health and healthy relationships and maintaining boundaries um, and establishing what they need um, from emotional health and well-being side of things as well and the next card is fear i realize that i am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love yeah so they exactly they are afraid of true love they're very much they, they have a block um it, but there's such a strong energy of effort here. There is such a strong energy of wanting to change and a willingness to change and an effort to change because of what they're going through in the future that they see for themselves and that they're trying to manifest and create. Um, once again, whether they relate to manifest and this and that, um, no different. You know, we can do it subconsciously as well. Um, but they do need to work through these fears. There's a lot of personal growth that needs to happen, a lot of reflection, a lot of soul searching. All right. What else do we have here? Forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. I'm getting for a lot of you, this person does have a fear, a bit of a fear. And now that I'm getting it here with this five of cups energy, the forgiveness, the fear, the healing, um, a bit of fear that perhaps they might have missed their chance with you a little bit. Um, perhaps they're taking too long and that's giving them a bit of anxiety. Um, they feel like they're they're very much blocking love for sure um and and they need to they don't know if you'll forgive them but they also need to forgive themselves for taking this time because this is how they need it to come to you whole and they need to do the work um but once again whether you will be there when they are ready that is up to you completely and i would like i'm not gonna sit here and be like wait for them no, absolutely not. So if they do take too long, they take too long, okay? you Don't you turn down other opportunities while you're waiting for someone else to get their stuff together, all right? <laughs> okay, let's see what else we have here as well. We have release. Yet yeah, they have a lot they have to let go of. I'm getting a little bit of a hunch that they've had some toxic relationships in the past that they've probably found very consuming um, that they just need to completely let go of so that they can start anew so that they can cut any ties that they have um, they definitely maybe still have some ties with someone or people in their lives or toxic patterns so whether it is in kind of this physical sense of relationship and security that they get um they are realizing that they do need to release these connections um, in order to move forward. And next we have mysticism. Okay, I'm getting this. Like they understand um, that you are enlightened. And with this healing and them kind of seeing you as the healer type of energy as well, um, and with all this strength, they, <laughs> they understand you're a bit more, um, whether they, once again, whether I'm getting, whether they refer to it as this or not, um, they see you in this healing light. They see you as more intuitive. They see you as very decisive, very certain, just all knowing. Um, and they really admire that about you. Honestly, you inspire them in a way to kind of get themselves together. 
whether that is for you or just for themselves, just your strength and your courage and your just sense of knowing and your intuition and your certainty around situations, around what you've told them and what you've said to them and how you've explained things to them, they very much respect it. They definitely um, think back to the things that you have said to them and take that into perspective. They really appreciate your opinion, your ideas, um, and just your full sense of knowing and and just, you know, your, your realness in a way, but also like your whimsy <laughs> at the same time. All right, let's keep going here. Then we have the engineer. I'm getting this as kind of their energy, the ability to give creative energy to a practical expression, talent for designing resolutions to common dilemmas. Yeah, so they really want to take it all apart, put it back together again. Once again, this is a very physical person. This is somebody who is attempting to master their emotions, but from an approach that they understand, which is very physical. Um, they could be like an engineer or a craftsman or just somebody who kind of takes things apart, puts it back together again. Somebody kind of in that, you know, um, creation realm, um, building, creating buildings, anything like that, architect, just, you know, the person who knows the nuts and bolts of the situations and the things and kind of how everything works. They like mechanisms and mechanics. Um, they really want to know the whole system. All right, and then we have the artist expressing a, what's it say, a dimension of life that is just beyond the five senses, inspiring others to see life symbolically. That's you. So that's how they see you. You inspire them to see their life in a different way through this emotional sense and they see the work that you've done and just the certainty that you have and the confidence that you have in kind of your emotional response. I'm getting like a vulnerability, a boldness. You know, if you feel something, you'd say it kind of thing. Um, and that's the way they see you and that inspires them because they wish they could be a little more vulnerable. They wish they could lean into their senses like that and just be a little more emotional and put everything on the line for love. And they, they like that about you. They like that artist side of you, that artistic, whimsical side of you. Okay, let's pull a few more tarot here to see what we have. Yes, we have the hermit. So this person's next move is reflection. Um, this is going to be slower for them to come forward. I'm getting that they will come forward. I'm, the big messages I'm getting, though, is whether you will still be there right um and and i'm getting like a whole like don't wait you know like this is a great person and all of that give them their time give them their space but don't put your life on pause for this person because they do have a lot of work to do before they are going to be ready and the next card we have is the magician yes this person um is your specific person your crush they're <laughs> really going to lean into that magician energy the idea of creating what they want the idea of being able to manifest what they want having an idea that is different than what they have on their regular daily basis. That is different than this engineered approach to things. To understand that they can create something based on a mindset, based on their emotions, based on how they feel, and how they can move something forward and bring it in to fruition but once again this is a lot of work that this person needs to do they really want to get into this high vibrational energy so that they can attract the right love for their life um, so that they can move forward um, without this fear and uncertainty that they have that they make the wrong decisions in love based on their experience all right and next we have again is the four of cups I'm getting this person is definitely going to reach out once their emotions have healed. But once again, this is, you know, this person like if you have other options, do you even notice them then? 
And that's what they're really thinking. They have an insecurity about doing the work. They have an insecurity about trying to master their emotions before they get to you because they also don't want to lose you. Um, but they do realize that that is selfish, that it is selfish to string you along when they know that they need to do the work so that they can become the inspirational person that they want to become for this union to be something so magical and amazing. Um, but they're also so scared of losing you. And so they don't want to string you along. They don't want to, you know, just like keep you hanging on to something when they know they're not whole. But they also just have this huge fear that once they figure it out, you might not be available anymore. And that's just a risk that I'm taking that they know they need to take because they know that if they were to get in a relationship right now that they would go back to the way that they used to be, go back to kind of just grasping onto the physical and trying to make everything real right in front of them. All right, so the bottom deck energy for that pull is judgment, yes. So good or bad, the day will come where it's either you are together, they got it together, you are moving forward together, or they come back to you and you have moved on. That is, that's what it's going to be. Um, and that's kind of their understanding. They know they're willing to come back and they're willing to try and they're willing to shoot their shot um, and reach out once they're ready. Um, and they're willing to do that and be rejected with their current energies. They are. They under, They really want you. They really like you. They really have a lot of feelings and a lot of respect for you, which is a great thing to have a lot of respect for you um so they will come back they will shoot their shot um and the ball will be in your court of course all right let's see i pulled some channel messages let's see what they have to say yeah it's not you it is life i'm gonna guess like it's not quite life i guess with the external pressures they feel that it is life um but it's them they need some internal work they have to do the work they have to put in the time and they just really want you to know it's not you ultimately what i'm getting from them is that this is happening because of you they are putting in this work because of you they are putting in this work because they want to create something with you um and you have inspired them with your strength and your just genuine love and how you feel love and display love it's it's quite amazing yeah i want the best for you that's the the don't don't wait for me but please wait for me don't wait for me but please wait for me energy if they could say something to you right now it'd be like don't feel the pressure to wait for me but I really wish you would wait for me oh that's really complicated I'm sorry guys and then I want to hear your voice yes like we said over here with the ace of swords they really want to communicate with you they want to talk to you they want to hear your voice they want to have deep conversations with you they actually really wish they could bring you in on this healing journey um, but for some reason they just know that they have to do this alone and your heart is beautiful. Yeah, your heart, your love, your emotions and your sense of being really inspires them. And like I said, this is what it has inspired them to take action. And they just want you to know that they want you to know that they see you like they see your soul. They see your kindness. They see your work. They may not be the best at verbalizing it. They may not be the best at telling you, but your heart is beautiful. They understand that it's inspirational to them, honestly. Okay, and so to finish this off here, I did pull a few initials. These could be your initials. These could be their initials. These could be important months or places or anything like that. Take it how it resonates. This is your reading. Um, your first letter here is L. Your next letter is Y. Next is A. And then we have a J. I got like really big judgment vibes when I pulled this J over too. And then we have a U. I'm going to like just you. Just for you. Always just for you. I'm, I'm, <laughs> that's a stretch. <laughs> you, Y. Okay, perfect. All right. So that is your reading, guys. I'm not going to dive into trying to spell things out here because <laughs> you can do that for sure. There is actually J if J is important person like a Jason or 
Jack or something like that. Um, once again, I got really strong masculine energy here, but that doesn't mean it's always uh, male or female. Um, just That's just the energy and the vibe that I'm getting from this reading is that really root chakra, that grounded um, masculine in the physical kind of go-getter energy who hasn't taken the time to do the work on the emotions and on that more intuitive side, um, that more magician side, which we kind of actually relate a little more to feminine energy. Okay, group one, that is your reading. Please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, please like, comment, share, subscribe, or any one of the wonderful things that we do to let YouTubers know that we are enjoying their content and we want it to keep coming. All right, please hit the like button and I will see you at the next reading. Bye. All right, hello, my wild, whimsical, and wonderful group number two. If you chose this citrine cluster point, I don't really know what it's called, <laughs> and set of cards number two, then this is the reading for you. Today, we are diving into your no contact or minimal contact kind of crush situationship, um, what have you, um, or just somebody you're thinking about a lot in a romantic sense for sure, um, just to see what is happening, what is going on with your person and what they would like to disclose. Uh, these readings, there's no quite set format. I'm just taking what spirit wants me to say and putting it out there. Um, I'm not really one of those tarot readers where it's like this over here landed and it's like X this equals blah, 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 blah. I'm more intuitive. I more just take the message and read the card how it's being told for me to be read. All right, so let's begin. Oh, we're going to open it up with the Ten of Cups. All right, and then your next card is the Hanged Man. I'll get them all out there and I'll let you know what it means. Uh, and then we have the Queen of Cups. Wow, lots of water energy. Again, lots of emotions came up in the last pile too. Well, I mean, we are talking about connections. Um, and then we have the Nine of Pentacles. Interesting, wow. And then we have the Ten of Swords. Okay, big reading here off the bat, guys. Starting off with this Ten of Cups. This person sees you as endgame. They want you to know that. Like, they needed a new perspective. They probably needed to walk away. They needed some time. They needed to kind of flip things on their head, shake them up. They maybe needed to make a mistake or two um, to realize. But now they see the light. Like, they see it. They see you. They see a house. They see kids. If that's what you want, um, or, you know, a less traditional sense of what endgame may be, but they see you in that picture with them, you're where their heart lies is what I'm getting from the beginning of this. And they really want you to know that they needed to learn that. They needed to learn. Um, they needed time. They needed to make a mistake. They needed to mess up. But like they are ready and they are ready now, guys, like for real. Um, and then with the Queen of Cups, like they admire your emotions and your emotional mastery and you're the kind of person that they see themselves with. You're the kind of energy that they want to match. Um, I'm getting something about your hair too for a few of you, so that may or may not be relevant, but they really like your hair. <laughs> That's meant for somebody out there. Um, but they, you know, they see this emotional mastery and maybe they did need to work a bit on their feminine energy. They may have been more in a mastery masculine energy, but now they are balanced is what I'm getting. They're kind of evening everything out so that they come back to you as a whole person. Um, and with the nine of pentacles here, like they finally feel like the two of you are whole on your own and you don't need to depend on each other. Um, but you can kind of just be with each other because you want to be with each other, not because of any toxicity, not because you need to, not because it feels like karmic or a lesson you have to learn or because things are so fiery and this and that. No, it's a very um, a stable energy where you are both so secure physically, probably financially alone, that nobody really kind of needs to depend on each other in that way. They see you as whole. 
Um, and then they feel like we can just really end overthinking things. They may have been overthinking things a lot in the past, um, you know, and you may have been overthinking things as well. And that was just kind of the energy that the two of you were stuck in. But we can go from the Ten of Swords, this, you know, just big picture of but overthinking things and kind of needing something to die out, need a thought to stop, right? Need a thought to just completely stop keeping you up at night um, to this 10 of cups, which is just more in our emotional fulfillment um, because the thoughts in the need to end. And there might've been some toxic communication too in the past on both ends. Um, but I'm getting that the two of you are like completing this whole cycle um, and shift, right? So that you can become whole for each other together and move this forward to get your 10 of cups. Oh, this is exciting. This was a fun energy to shuffle as well. Um, with the knight of swords popping in here, I am getting a communication coming in for you and coming in hot. They are literally sitting there probably right now thinking about what they're going to say, what they're going to do, how they want to communicate it. Um, and then they're going to come in with some real masculine energy here, whether they are male or female. I do not discriminate, but they're going to do have that take action energy and come in with a communication is what I'm getting. It's not going to be like a straight up offer. It's not going to be like, let's be boyfriend and girlfriend. It's going to be a little more subtle. Um, but you know, what's understood doesn't have to be explained, right? There's not... Um, there's, you're going to be able to read between the lines. You'll get it. You'll get it. You may want more. You may want a really emotional or maybe like a real physical offer, but like they're going to have a really nice communication with you to show that they want to connect with you, that they want to talk to you, that they want to create a bigger vision with you. And I'm getting like, you'll just have a conversation. Maybe it's like an endless amount of texts or not, some of you will even get like emails. I don't know why. Um, text and communications back and forth, <laughs> like pen pals, letters. <laughs> um, and I'm getting, you know, that you'll just start planning life together honestly without that big dramatic production of like be my boyfriend or girlfriend like you're literally just going to start planning it it's going to feel very 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 natural all right let's see what else we have here cycles okay with the moonstone showing up here there's definitely once again communication with this blue and that throat chakra um that needs to happen that is going to happen because of the cycles because you know you guys have honestly what i'm getting for a lot of you it doesn't have to resonate for everybody remember this is a, ge a general reading take what resonates leave the rest for somebody else that message wasn't meant for you um I really, some of you probably either have dated this person before or have been friends with this person or just kind of have worked through some stuff. Maybe there's even been work things or some type of relation like that and that cycle has ended and then now it is this cycle of real emotional connection and fulfillment. You know, the, this businessy cycle of exchanges is going to end and the new cycle is emotions and next steps. Um, so whether it's coming from a friendship cycle now into a more romantic one or from like a business one now into a more romantic one, um, you're definitely heading into that emotional cycle. And then we've seen kind of the death of that other cycle coming through. All right. Your next card is balance. Yes. Okay. Um, so I'm getting actually just a lot of mirroring energy here. So I'm getting the two of you have both realized you need a balance in your life, that you have created these amazing physical things in the physical world and you're um, both abundant in your own way and both secure and everything like that. And now you want to seek that emotional balance as well. I feel like this decision isn't just like they're ready now and you've been waiting around. Like you have been bettering yourself too and you needed this balance and you needed a work that you had to do. Um, and there's like a masculine energy I'm getting about you that you needed to balance out with a more feminine energy of just being open to receiving, open to this person coming into your life, open to love, just opening 
to love and letting this person in. This isn't just all about them. This isn't just about you sitting around and waiting for them. Like, when are they going to show up? No, like you had work to do too. You had your own things that you needed to balance out, that you needed to create, that you needed to secure so that you were ready for this too. I'm getting like the like, timing's really good here. Timing is just on point. Unlike my last group, my last group, not so great at timing. And then with the Brazilian night here, I'm getting with flexibility, um, somebody may be willing to move, willing to travel, willing to take time off or something like that um, to make this work. They're willing to like maybe even give up something or shift something around or change their schedule, you know, or make different plans or, you know, work you into their plans or you work them into your plans or something like that um, because there has to be some flexibility because what I'm getting here is just two people are used to doing what they want to do how they want to do it. <laughs> and with this balance and flexibility that is really just needed to make this a successful union. All right, let's see what else we have. We have purpose. I know what I am here to do. <laughs> uh, this person looks at you and sees a lot of purpose. They There's something really whimsical about how you have met, perhaps. Um, it's honestly like faded. It feels very faded. It feels like you maybe met in a weird way of all the chances, of all the times, of all the synchronicities in this entire world. Like how did you two meet? Um, you may have that feeling. They may have that feeling as well. Um, and you just know what you're here to do. And, and the timing couldn't be better is what I'm getting now. Timing might have been bad in the past, but timing couldn't be better now. <laughs> All right, your next card is relationships. Yeah. Uh, all right, I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. Yeah, this really speaks to the fact that you and this person are coming into union and you're coming into union whole. Um, so you can serve the higher good of each other, which is that nice balance, you know, that independent people coming together in union who are whole, who do not drain the other person, who do not absorb, who do not take, not only take, of course, there's going to be situations where you need to help each other and somebody needs to, you know, hold somebody up or something like that. Um, but it, it's, it's a really good give take type of relationship, you know, really balanced relationships here. Um, probably a really good connection with family as well. I'm getting uh, if you have family or they have family or they're close with their family, perhaps and um, you get to know their family. They're very proud of those relationships as well, and they see you as fitting in. All right, and with Envy, oh, this is this is actually kind of, an, kind of cute. I'm going to tell you. Um, I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. What I'm getting with this Envy card popping up, though, is like, they see you as a freaking catch. They see you as like, I don't want to say a prize, but they see you as a prize, like not literally a prize, but they think everybody wants you and everybody wants to be with you and all these people want to be around you all the time and they just feel so lucky they're so excited that they get to shoot their shot they're so excited that they even get to talk to somebody like you or meet somebody like you or just be you know kind of in that inspirational presence that you have because they know that people envy the position that they are in and they know they will they know they will when they're walking down the street hand in hand with you they know that people are going to look at them and envy everything you know about the situation and the love that they're going to have with you Woo! wow all right let's keep going here we have passion yeah all right we're getting into some like fiery energies here <laughs> um i'm with passion to uh, the two of you could end up actually like working together. I'm going to have a couple work vibes from this, like or working on something together or them supporting your passion or what you're going after. They really, 
they want you to know that they want to know that they will um, support your vision. I'm getting you know, like a visionary and they really want you to know that they will support your vision, um, that they can see it for you as well, that they they want you to be successful and they want you to be driven and they want you to be inspirational and they want you to have passion and they want you to wake up every day and, you know, have love for the relationship, but also have love for what you're doing. I'm getting that is very important for you as well, um, that you have passion for something that you do and you need somebody who balances you out, who can respect that who is not intimidated by that this person is not intimidated by that at all they love that about you they do they really do and forgiveness all right i'm getting some really like maybe childy vibes here like kind of letting go of our past and understanding that maybe things didn't turn out exactly how we thought they would like when we were like a little girl or a little boy and this is my perfect life and this is what it's exactly it's going to be um, and then feeling maybe a bit of a failure because the things didn't roll out exactly but now like this union you're going to forgive yourself and I'm um, once again mirroring energy and they're going to forgive themselves because things are going to turn out so perfect and more wild than you could even imagine hopefully wow 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 this is quite the union coming in this is quite the union all right and now we have the guide all right, represents the nature of the divine in life and in yourself. Yes, this feels so fated, so divinely guided, so serendipitous. Like, how did this happen in all of the worlds of worlds and all of the time and separation that you have spent apart, that you just come back together at the most perfect time that works for this union, that works for this connection, whenever that may be. Like, I know I'm saying like that this is coming in quick or something like that and that this person is coming with communication. Um, it may take a little time, um, because it's got to be the right time. But it's going to be the right time when it happens. It is going to be the right time. All right. And then we have the queen radiates the regal feminine. Uses her benevolent authority to protect others. Yes. Okay. Um, so like I said, I felt like maybe the both of you were very, very much into your masculine energies. Very action oriented. Very much go-getters. Very much, you know, just working and putting things out there and blah, 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 taking action, taking the step first and doing this first. And I'm going to like the both of you have leaned into your feminine energy and opening your hearts and understanding your emotion. And you're just really perhaps mastering that feminine energy too and just oozing like this regal, like, I don't even know, god or goddess vibes, you know, that everybody wants to be a part of. Um, and you can just really seem as somebody you know who would stick up for others or who would step up to the plate who would like take care of business um but still in a bit more of a feminine energy than you've been dealing with in a past all right let's see what the last of the tarot has to say here all right we have the six of cups interesting let's just get them all out Ooh, the wheel of fortune and then we have the six of wands okay um so this tarot i'm getting the vibes is like this is kind of like the what's happening next they want to make you feel like nostalgic about them they want you to like make all your wildest dreams come true is what i'm getting they really think about that they sit at home and they're like, oh, I could imagine life doing this. And when we travel here and when we go there and when we create, whether it, whether this is what you want. These are just examples. Um, so whether, you know, we have children or a house or we do this or we do that, um, they really want to make like your almost sweetheart dreams come true. <laughs> like I said, there might be like with that whole forgiveness, forgiving ourselves for not being where we thought we would be when we were younger to where we are now um but like kind of forgiving ourselves for that because it's going to be greater than it's ever been wow and then with the wheel of fortune here we're just diving back into that cycles idea right 
that everything is just going around and the two of you are entering a new cycle. I'm getting that um, you had a cycle in the past, perhaps it was very much business related or perhaps it was very much friendship related or you had something to like take care of together maybe is kind of what I'm getting for some of you as well. Um, and y you just couldn't flip the switch perhaps. Um, the switch is being flipped for sure. We're starting a new cycle and we're getting everything we wanted um, with this person and it's going to be very prosperous for us and this person wants to come in and they want to have a victory they really do um they want to have a celebration a small win they want to uh, i'm getting like a quick victory like the two of you may go on maybe vacation or something like that really quickly um or just plan something amazing together pretty quickly like i'm getting that there's going to be a milestone almost instantly you know i mean you've been waiting for so long you've been in separation for so long and then you're really going to like take a big leap at the beginning and have kind of this quick victory the bottom deck energy here is the hermit so once again the two parties the mirroring energies of the hermit right here the work that has been done on your own to make this union come together is quite impressive all right, I did pull some channel messages, so let's see what they have to say. I want some time alone with you. The two, like I said, this is a different cycle. Like, the two of you may never have actually had alone time. Like, if you were working together, or if this was like a business thing, or if you're part of a friends group, or if you met through friends, um, or if you, you know, just had some type of dealings to deal with in the past, like, you may actually not have had alone time time together they daydream about alone time with you though for sure yeah we're stronger together so now that you're whole by yourself you can create something amazing together is what this person is just like thinking of all of the things you could do and create and make wow I don't want to slow you down okay so what I'm getting for this one is like they see you in this nine of pentacles energy, this so whole, so strong. And like I said, with this I, getting here, coming back, I'm just remembering, I said with this kind of work energy and the success energy that you have, they don't want this union to slow you, slow you down and it's not going to. Like they're going to make an asserted effort to make sure you're still getting what you want, you're still doing what you're passionate about, um, that you're still creating in some way, what if that means something to you, and that you're still chasing your dreams, um, even though you know you are coming together in this union, but your other dreams, right? All right, and the last message is, I'm ready to take the next step. Yes, our previous cycle is, has ended and we are ready to move forward. All right, let's take a look at the letters here. We have an I and then we have an E and we have an X. So probably a really rare name. These could be initials. These could be important places or things. Take them how they resonate. We have a J. We have another E. E could be really important. I pulled a lot of letters for you guys. We have a D. Oh, we have a V. And we have an N. Look, look, I'm getting like MV over here. Does it spell it? No, we're missing a Y. But like envy almost there that's they see you as so desirable and then we have an h all right group two that is the no contact what's happening in this connection reading that i had for you and your specific person here today please like comment share subscribe do all of the things that we do to let the tarot readers here on youtube know that we're watching and we want to see more 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 uh let me know if it resonates and also just like let me know if you have any video ideas that you would like me to see as well let's have a conversation in the comments okay see you later bye all right hello group number three and welcome to your no contact kind of crush or specific person connection what's happening in this connection reading so if you chose set of cards number three and this crystal right here 
then this is the reading for you. We are going to dive right into it. Please remember that this is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I don't have too much structure to this reading. I'm just reading the cards as they come and as they're guided to me to read. As you may know if you've watched a few of my other videos, I'm a very intuitive reader. I'm not like, oh, this one is right here upside like this, so it means this kind of thing. I just, you know, listen to what the guides say and how the cards want to be read for your specific energies and your situations. So let's dive right in. Your first card is judgment. Interesting. Your next card is the 10 of pentacles. And your third card here is the six of swords. And then we have the nine of wands. And then we have the emperor. Okay, so off the top, uh, what I'm getting from your specific person is that they're really busy working on their financial well means, their financial success. Perhaps they're focused on their career, their business, um, maybe like building even a house or some type of physical thing in the physical realm, um, crafting something. I'm getting for some of them, I'm getting that some people are like, like making something, building maybe even an empire and they're a bit caught up in their own energy in that right now. Um, the bigger picture, like the bigger full picture is slipping away from them based on the bigger picture of this financial world that they're focusing on, on the physical world that they're focusing on. There may be like a bit of a distance between you as well. Um, they may see a relationship right now as something that they would have to change a lot to associate in their lives and a big shift that they would have to make, you know, kind of like a, an ocean that they will have to swim across. And like, I'm getting that They've really established a life and a lifestyle and a schedule that is based around being one person. Um, they do realize that they that the time is going to come and they're going to need to change. Um, I get a bit of a fear of change, though, from them, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. Um, but they do understand. They do. They see it. They see that they're going to have to change. They just don't see the big picture yet or how that works. Um, with the nine of wands, they're, they're a bit tired. Um, they carry everything themselves and they don't want to carry someone else. They don't want to carry someone else's baggage. They don't want to put up with that. Um, they, this person isn't giving me very like healthy outlook towards love. Um, they may not have seen a lot of love in their life. They may not have seen a lot of healthy relationships as well. Uh, so their vision of love is just a lot of work. And they're already trying to put in a lot of work into like more of the physical things in their life right now that they they don't have space for love. They don't have space to put in the work for love. But they do want to step up. They do want to become that emperor, that creator energy, you know, and that ultimate creator and provider. They want a really stable relationship. That is the goal for them. They want a very healthy relationship. Um, they just have no guidance to go about it. They have no sense of where to start. They have no like checklist of how do I know that this is going to turn out the way that I want it to be. Um, they are creating though this life because they want somebody in it for sure, but they're going about it a little bit in the wrong way. They're just creating it over here all by themselves. Um, they want to be whole. They really do. They really want a secure, stable family and future. They want secure security for sure. They want everything to be just so. I'm getting that it might not be something that they've ever had. Um, this person doesn't know how to express themselves that well when it comes to love either is what I'm getting. I'm getting, <laughs> I got a picture in my head of someone just like blindfolded swinging at a pinata when they're trying to like communicate how they feel with somebody. They're just, you know, taking some wild shots like, oh, this is probably what I should say or anything like that. This person doesn't feel like they have a lot of guidance in that atmosphere in that world they don't feel like they have a lot of guidance and love to be honest they don't feel like they have a lot of support and nurturing that um 
They maybe idealize some things that they see on TV because they don't have ideals in their own lives of great relationships is what I'm getting. All right, let's see what else we have. Shine, yeah, this person's very much working on themselves. They're working on stepping up. They're working on becoming the person that they want to be, that they see. Like, remember how I was like, oh, on TV, like they're, they have ideals. This person has a lot of ideals and they want to shine in the ideals that they have and they want to become the person that they want to become, Um, that they have created almost like kind of this fantasy of like this, I'm going to, just because the emperor here, I'm going to like assign a male energy to it. So like this father figure, this parental figure, this adult um, kind of male energy, this this great provider um, that they have idealized and have created a picture of for themselves. Um, so they really are trying to step into that role, but alone, which is kind of interesting. Dreams, yeah. So this person does have bigger dreams. They just don't know how to bring them into life. Um, you you actually haven't come through here yet, but <laughs> we're we're gonna we're gonna get there for sure. But they do have a lot of bigger dreams, and they probably um have a lot of things that they think about that they want to come true. They just lack almost this. Uh, the transition between like this is my ideal and how do I create it this is what I feel this is what I want the outcome to be but how do I say it how do I say it with that page of swords so showing up here how do I explain it how do I get to that next step um they feel a bit jumbled too uh probably communicating with you they're probably a bit insecure over that as well and then I, next is clear quartz purification. Yeah, this person needs a fresh outlook on love. They really do. They've had their love, their ideals of love and what they've seen in love, whether it be through their friends, their parents, their family members, um, just squashed. They've, they've seen people go through a lot of stuff is what I'm getting. And they really need to regroup and understand that that doesn't have to be be them they need to purify their thoughts on what love is in either in order to get the big picture that they want honestly you should send them to this reading this is really a reading for them this is turning out to be it's quite interesting um but this is what's going on with them so you have a better understanding they really need to purify and cleanse kind of their thought process when it comes to love let's see what else we have here yeah, we have death. This person needs to go through a huge rebirth. It says, I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. This person is leaning into cycles, right? They're leaning into the fact that something ends means something new can begin. Um, and honestly, I'm getting like a bit of a, a death of their bachelorhood. And they're going to see it as that for sure. They're going to see kind of their soloness as, as dying and that's a hard thing to come to terms with when you're an independent person and you have created a lifestyle that's only dependent on you and you are the only person that depends on yourself as well um that you don't have a lot of responsibilities you only have the responsibilities that you you place on yourself I can relate to that and the next card here is friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. All right, so you're working your way in here. Here you are. I think they really see you in a friend's light. I'm not saying that you're friends. So maybe you friend zoned them. Yeah, maybe they're just wild shots and like you don't know why this person's kind of like keeps creeping up on your mind. You're like, they're so weird. They can't really get it together. They're not that um, savvy when it comes to love or whatnot. Um, you might have friend zoned them because you just couldn't get it, but you can't get them out of your head. And that's kind of why you are here and still thinking about them and not in contact. That doesn't have to be for everybody, but that is for somebody out there. Um, and... You know, they may have said things in the past, like, let's be friends. Like, they're trying to be cool. They they really just don't know what to do or say. This is so interesting. Uh -huh. They need, like, a lesson. <laughs> they need, like, a coach. <laughs> oh, so interesting. And then the next card is grief. Yeah. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. With grief popping up here, I'm definitely getting perhaps, um, you know, some childhood traumas from divorce or some type of loss. Um, this could be on either side too. The both of you may have had 
poor relationships with relationships um, and have mourned the loss and the death of relationships or, you know, seen a lot of divorce in your life or see, maybe even seen uh, tragically some abuse or anything like that um, and, and just have this poor, I guess, light on love but still love the idea of love and know you want to build something. And that, uh, you know, this grief kind of carries over into all of your relationships, whether that is like the grief of losing somebody too early who was supposed to be a key role model in helping you or helping this person. Um, I'm getting that this could be on either side or have incidents on both sides um, that were supposed to help you develop your emotional intelligence or their emotional intelligence or just witnessing perhaps divorce or just tumultuous relationships from a very young age as well that you kind of grieve that you didn't have the opportunity to understand what love was. Wow. Okay, then our next card is Miracle. Yes, but there's a lot of you know, with the purification and the dreams and the bigger picture and the outlook and the really wanting to come into this emperor energy, like there is a big belief here. There's a belief. I can make it happen. I can do this. I can pull this through. I can come out on top. Like, you know, I can create the miracle here. You, you know, I don't need good examples. I can find those. I can talk to somebody like um, calling it in for sure. This person, you know, even though they don't have the best examples in their life of love, they can definitely call it in. I'm getting their big creator energy. They might be good manifestors too. All right. And then the next card is grief as well. This is grief of the heart. This definitely does have to do um, with some loss and just a, a bit of a mourning perhaps. Perhaps um, they also may have had a relationship or you may have had a relationship in the past. You may have even talked about this. Um, that was tumultuous, that was toxic, that was karmic, that was just plain bad and, re and really, really hurt them or hurt you and you guys may have had conversation. I'm getting a bit of a mirroring energy here too. All right, your next card is the Liberator. It says, freeing yourself and others from outmoded beliefs. Releasing negative thought patterns. Yeah, releasing it. Exactly. Okay. I didn't, I haven't actually read this card before. Um, but releasing negative thought patterns, that's exactly what needs to happen before you two can come into union, before you two can be whole is this, you know, you need to release it. You need to create a release. You need to free yourself from just these outdated beliefs. You know, these beliefs that, all love is toxic, all love is hard, you know, these kind of things that we say to ourselves and like that love is pain and that good things hurt and good things come to those who wait and good things, you know, only happen after a bad storm and, you know, we kind of create beliefs that we have to go through something, that we have to pay our dues. When when that's not true, we, we, we don't have to create a belief system like that. Um, we can have good for the sake of having good. We, we don't have to create pain to have good. Um, it, it, I mean, I'm getting that this group understands pain, right? And this group's person understands pain. Like, we, we get it. We get it. We're, re we're ready to change our belief system, and we're ready for miracles. We're ready to believe in miracles. We're ready to put more positive thoughts out there into the world so that we can make miracles happen. And then next we have the networker. This person could be like pretty social um, or you could as well. And this enhances the unity through sharing of information. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Engenders social awareness and empathy. Yeah, so what's going to happen here is we're definitely needing to talk to somebody about our experience on their end. Um, you know, they're going to find an outlet a source that they can make it through so that they can get clarity on their love life so that they can move forward. All right, let's pull some of the last of the tarot here. We have the king of pentacles. Yes, this person is a master of the physical, but not the emotional. They don't understand that. This is kind of a vibe of the collective right now is, is mastering what's in front of us. It kind of came through almost in all of the piles, but these these energies of who you're connected with, being able to ma master what's in front of them 
but really struggling with mastering like what's inside them and what they want and especially like an intuitive reach as well. Um, so this person, you know, they really do want to be a provider. That's what I'm seeing. They want to be so secure in the physical and they may be, they may um, be really well off. They may be very successful, um, but they're still feeling young in the sense of when it comes to communicating emotions um, and that's kind of what they're struggling with to bring forward but they want to they kind of they want to provide for you I'm getting that vibe I'm getting they actually do really really kind of see you even if they don't see you for some of you this may never have been love this could have been a really good friendship or perhaps you work with this person or you know them in a different um, social type of way or anything like that um, but they they want to be whole as this provider and that's what they see as successful that's how they measure their success and that's how they have been measuring their success so this person could be pretty abundant this person could have like you know house nice car all of these things that they have created um, not just for themselves but because that's how they know how to show love um, if this person you know is probably a gift giver and things like that because that's how they know how to show love the rest's very hard for them yeah like their thoughts kind of are holding them back their belief systems are holding them back um what they have seen is holding them back but they it's really a, an illusion they don't see you know how whole their heart can be even though it's broken you know, they don't see what they they don't know they don't understand that they could just walk straight forward out of this right they could move forward they could, but they're like this facade of being held back. You know, when we kind of go through things and, and we let them hold us back a little, when we could really just take that step forward and move forward and dive right in, but we're really almost afraid of getting hurt. This person's very much afraid of getting hurt. And then we have the Empress. Oh, we have the Emperor and the Empress. Like this is the King and Queen energies like this ultimate king and queen energies like these are the great creators these are divine partners i'm getting the two of you really balance each other out and they see that and they understand that they're just really struggling to be able to be a good communicator they do see you in this empress light though they have a lot of love for you they like i'm not gonna lie like if this i know i'm going very feminine here but they, you know, could see you having their babies or like uh, vice versa. They could, you know, um, want to have babies with you or whatnot. They see the two of you really being able to make the ultimate creations in life. They're just struggling with the blocks that they have right now. Um, I've got a feeling that once they realize they can take a step forward, once they do take that step, once they are able to harness that energy and move forward, everything is so strong, everything is so secure, everything is so stable, except for that knowledge of love, it'll be unstoppable once it kind of starts moving. Once they get their feet wet, yeah, look temperance here. Once they get their feet wet, once they find that balance, once they know how to say what they need to say, once they try, once they try, things will get moving. Things will start moving forward um, and things will be, I'm just getting a very secure vibe, very protected, a very protected union. All right. And then I've got some channel messages here, right? This is back into balance we need to do this together the we both need to do work we both need to like hold each other's hand through this is what i'm getting um oh i'm getting for a lot of you they want you to reach out just to let you know you do what's right in your heart um but that would provide them a lot of reassurance especially how insecure they are about love and how secure they are about other things you would never guess that they're insecure about love based on the type of person that this is but it's true you are so beautiful in every way they see you as balanced completely they see you as already kind of mastering you know the emotions and the physical and this and that and and they see you in beautiful in all aspects you know i'm getting like even on the bad days oh that's so sweet all right well, yeah. All right. Here it is. What does forever feel like? This person has 
seen some stuff when it comes to love they may not understand what a healthy relationship is and um when you two do come into union when you two do connect they will lean on you to be an example of strong love and strong emotional support and kind of need that reassurance from you i'm getting though like with your whole empress vibes here like you are fine with that you you can show them love and teach them love all right, and then next, it's worth it to me. Okay, so oh, this is a lot of work. This is really hard. This is taking a lot of strength, um, and, and this is not easy for them, but they really do see you as worth it. They see this union as worth it. Um, they see this connection as worth it. They think that moving this forward is worth it. They just need to figure themselves out and how they're going to do that. Okay, so I also did pull some letters so we could do initials. They could be months. They could be important places. Take them how they resonate. Leave them if they don't. Your first letter is G. Your next letter is H. G again, grief. Grief. The vibes of grief are strong here, guys. Um, the next letter is C. I mean, we can, we can, this is work. Oh my goodness. They see you as like the ultimate partner to do something with though, for sure. All right. The next we have is X could be a former relationship that scorned them. The next we have is S and then we have a K. Oh, they want to kiss you. That's so cute. <laughs> then I'm getting only you when I pulled that. We have a U. And then we have an S. I got a C, H, and an S. Again, like a Chris vibe maybe. And then we have an M. All right, group three, that is the reading I have for you. That is everything. I hope it resonated. Um, please leave a comment if it did. Please join me in the comment section. We will have a conversation. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and do all of those amazing things that we do to show tarot readers here on YouTube that we support the work that they do and we want them to keep going. We want them to keep sharing content and thriving. Thank you so much for sharing your energy with me. It was a pleasure reading for you and I can't wait to do it again. Bye.